guys, it's Zuko. Welcome back to my channel. All right, today I had to get fully ready, fully dressed up, so I thought tonight would be the perfect night to do a get unready with me night routine. So I'm just gonna walk you through all the steps that I do to get ready for bed after a night out. So I showered recently, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is change into something a bit more comfortable. Okay, I am back in my PJs. If you know me, you know that I love a good pajama set. Like, just wearing a nice set of pajamas to bed just makes me feel so good, so much better. And I feel like pajamas get slept on. Like, pajamas are important. Don't forget your nice PJs. <laughs> anyway, so I'm nice and comfortable. And now I'm gonna take off my earrings. Luckily, these are super lightweight because I know the feeling of having some heavy earrings on and you just want to take them off at the end of the night. <sighs> okay, and now we will start by removing all of this makeup. I know it's super good to double cleanse when you're removing your makeup but I don't have any double cleansers right now. Like I just have <laughs> one, so I'm just gonna be using one, but I really like the oil makeup remover from Shiseido. It's like an oil cleanser and that one's really great. And I recently tried this other one, but whatever, <laughs> it's not that noteworthy. So I would recommend the Shiseido oil if you're gonna do a pre-cleanse like that. But since I don't have a pre-cleanse, I'm just gonna be cleansing really thoroughly with my Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. I'm using the lavender one. I'm also going to be using this little silicone face massager, I guess, to really get deep down in my pores. I'll kind of just wash my face once just to get the bulk of the makeup off and then I'll go in again with this little scrubby and really just lightly exfoliate and scrub everything out because we don't want any clogged pores or leftover makeup. This is a really good cleanser and it does get your face really clean, but I'm still gonna go in for a second time just to be sure. But all my makeup is off of my face. I don't use this brush every day. Only when I like wear excessive amounts of makeup and need a deeper clean. One other important thing to remember for me is to get around my hairline super well. Like I have to make sure I clean that area really thoroughly because if I'm wearing any edge control or any hair products, just the mix of hair products and makeup, it's a terrible mix and it will give you blemishes if you have blemish prone skin. So I just make sure and wipe that area super well. Okay, as a toner, I'm gonna be using this Sindamycin Phosphate Topical Solution. The dermatologist recommends me these wipes. Um, and yeah, it's just like a little toning pad that I guess has some acne medication in it to keep your pimples away. This is literally the last wipe in the pack. I need to go pick up 
my new prescription, but I do really like these wipes. They just really prevent any pimples from coming up. So I love these. All right, first I'm gonna go in with the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% Serum. This is my favorite serum ever. I'm in love with it. I use it every day. Just put a couple drops and rub it in. The texture of this can be a little bit sticky and it's kind of, can be a bit off-putting at first when you're not used to the texture, so just be warned that it can be a little sticky, but it works so well and you really do get used to it. I'm gonna follow that up with some new products that I got from The Ordinary. I actually just made an order and I've been trying out some of their new, well, it's not new, but I've been trying out some new stuff from them. This is the Azalic Acid Suspension 10%. I've used this a couple times before, but it's still pretty new to me, so. Oh, maybe I should try this out. I forgot that I even ordered this. This is the Granactive Retinoid 2% Emulsion. I forgot I got a retinol. Hmm, should I try this, guys? Okay, we're trying new things today. You guys are here experiencing this firsthand. My first try of the Granactive Retinoid 2% Emulsion. So I've actually, I have used retinols before, but when I was using them, my skin was not in the best condition. Like I was having a lot of skin issues when I was using the retinol and I don't attribute it to the retinol. I don't think that the retinol made my skin bad or it was causing any inflammation. I just think that my skin is very easily irritated. And if I'm not using acne fighting products, then I will have issues and there's no retinol, no nothing that can help me. So as long as I have a product like this that's really fighting any acne that's wanting to come up, I can kind of play with my other products. But without this, everything else is not gonna work. Like without my acne fighting products, none of the retinols, the fun stuff is gonna do anything to my skin. I'm also gonna put, ooh, not this, my retinol. I'm gonna put a little bit of this down my neck because oh, we need to put skincare on our necks too. And yeah, the formula feels really nice. I mean, it smells, it smells good. It smells like skincare. <laughs> If that makes sense. I've used some skincare products that have smelled like this. Yeah, it smells good. I don't like using too many products. I've been there. I have been there. I'm a skincare junkie. I love skincare. And if I could, I would do a 13 step Korean skincare routine every night because I just love it so much. But my skin loves simplicity. <sighs> And it really reacts well when I use the same products, a couple of products and products that really work. So that's why I love The Ordinary so much because they do that for me. So although I'm trying some new products today, I usually stick to the same routine every time. Yeah, so this is a special day. This is a special occasion. To finish up, I'm gonna use my moisturizer. This is the moisturizer I use every day. It's my go-to and it is the Trader Joe's Nourish Oil-Free Antioxidant Facial Moisturizer. I've been using this moisturizer for a while now. I really like that it's oil-free so it doesn't irritate my skin whatsoever. And I can just put it on top of my serums and it seals everything in really nicely. Oh, this moisturizer feels so good. And last but not least, I'm gonna go in with an eye cream. Well, it's not exactly an eye cream, but an eye treatment product. So this is also from The Ordinary. It is their Caffeine Solution 5%. I've only used this once before today. 
and I'm gonna try it for a while. I'll let you guys know how it goes. And that concludes my skincare. My skin feels so good. It feels so clean, so moisturized. And I love doing skincare. It's like just my time of the day to really unwind and relax and just tune in with myself. Now I'm gonna brush my teeth. So I have this non-plastic toothbrush. You know, we gotta look out for the environment. Go for a recyclable toothbrush, something that isn't made of plastic. Now I'm getting ready to hit the hay and go to sleep. I'm really tired, but before I go to bed, I have a couple more things that I need to do. So I'm gonna put some Vaseline on my lips. And I put my castor oil on my eyelashes. I always do this right before I go to sleep because it's oily and you don't want a bunch of oil in your eye while like you're on your computer, stuff like that. So what I do is I dip it in, lift it, and I just scrape the excess off with my spoolie and that's like the perfect amount for me because you don't need too much oil for this step. Right before bed, the very last thing I do is I floss. I keep my floss right on my desk by my bed. So it's super easy to do every night and I don't forget. So I'll just floss my teeth. I like to do this. I don't do this in the bathroom just because <laughs> I'm lazy and I like to do it in bed. It's just comforting to me. So I'll floss my teeth and yes, I floss my gap. Okay, you gotta floss every tooth, every tooth. And then I'll be completely ready for bed. All right guys, that is the end of my get unready with me night routine. I really hope you enjoyed seeing me get ready for bed. This is what I do every night to get ready for bed. I will usually also wrap my hair, but I can't find my head wrap anywhere. So I'm just gonna have to sleep without it tonight. But that is usually a staple. Well, ugh, I'm trying to make it a staple in my night routine. So wrap your hair. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like and make sure to subscribe to be notified every time I post a new video, which is every week. So join the family and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.